Today we learn about sequences. All about sequences. So sequences are an abstraction for an ordered list of things. Here's an ordered list of colors of the rainbow. Now, there isn't just one sequence class or abstract data type or type or Pyth in Python or in general. It's not just one thing. Many different things are sequences. A sequence abstraction is a collection of behaviors. And anything that behaves in this way, you should think of as a sequence. One, sequences have a length. That's finite. There's a certain number of elements in the sequence. Second is element selection. So a sequence has an element corresponding to any non-negative integer. That means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Index that's less than its length, starting at 0 for the first element. So here are the indices for the elements of this sequence. 0 through 6, because there are 7 colors of the rainbow. Okay, so there is some built-in syntax in Python associated with this particular behavior for sequences. So you can get the length and you can select elements. We can also write our own functions to do that, and we'll do both of those today. And a tuple is a kind of built-in sequence. It can't, it's not the case that it only has two possible it's not the case that a tuple can only contain two different elements. In fact, it contain It's not the case that a tuple can contain only two elements, as we saw in the last lecture. Instead, it can contain an arbitrary number of elements. Let's take a look. I start up Python, and I told you last time that a tuple can be created with a tuple literal, which is just a bunch of expressions that are separated by commas. So if I want to create a tuple, I just say odds, and then I start listing some odd numbers. Now odds is a tuple that has a length of four, because there's four elements in it. And there's a built-in function called len, which computes the length of a sequence. So this has four elements in it, I can also select individual elements using the bracket syntax that we saw last time. So odds has four things in it, which means any index starting at zero and up to three, which is one less than four, should give me an element of odds. So I can get the element at index zero or the element at index one. And these expressions that I'm writing down can be combined into more complex expressions. I could say odds zero, times odds three plus the len of odds is 2013. Or I could say odds of odds three minus odds two is what? Think about it for a second. So that is odds three is 49 minus odds two is 47 gives me 2, and so this whole piece evaluates to 2, so we get the element at index 2 is 47. So that's just a demonstration of how we can verify that a tuple, which I created with this tuple literal, is an instance of the sequence abstraction because it has a length and because it supports element selection.